but I don't love just anybody. Oh, just anybody. Oh, send me your body. Uh huh. Welcome back to the Bare Minimum Podcast. This is Colby Curtis, and I am here with... Kaylee Baker. Lana Weatherall. Laura Price. Blair Hipshire. Here with a um, uh, select few of the hard northern students that won't be named. Uh, the question today is, if there was a Mount Rushmore for hard northern teachers, who would be the four selected? And we're going to start over here to my left. <clears throat> um... Well, I think first would be Glenn Peter Bruno. Wait, Secondly, you, did you teach here? <laughs> what's the matter? Actually, teacher. Did did old Mr. Bruno? Okay, okay, okay. he's a teacher. Okay. He's a teacher. He, he Second, uh, probably Mr. Fish. Let's think of a third. Mm. Mr. Dennis. Mm. And then fourth, you say why? <laughs> Let me tell you why. That man is a legend. That's all I gotta say. Four, <laughs> mm, probably Doctor Price. Right. Be um, old Clint Sneary. <laughs> Back in the fourth grade days, love that man. What's he doing now? Is he a? I think a he's like Kenton, principal or Kenton, Kenton something? Yeah, something. Well, yeah. Mr. He's a wildcat now. If you're hearing this, we miss you. <laughs> um, I think we'll go even further back to old kindergarten, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> he, he was he was a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Never mind. I don't know. I don't want to get the story messed up. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'll. Yeah, he's steaming. Yeah. I can, Mention. <clears throat> Honorable mention. It doesn't have to be he honest. is a substitute. I got two. One, Mr. Lynch. Two, Mr. Huffman himself. Mr. Oh. Candy Bar. Do you want a candy bar? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say my third choice would probably have to be Miss Kiefer. Mm, yeah, surprised yeah. I wasn't brought up in last one. Probably one of the best. <laughs> one of the best to ever do it. All right, who's um, your final choice? Probably Mr. Fish. You know, anyone that can teach that long <laughs> needs some needs some credits. He pulled out some a, a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years. <laughs> yeah, he, he had that dog in him. Yeah, he had that fish. I guess I'll go ahead with my four. <sighs> Number one, I don't know if it'd be too early to say this. I don't know how long he's been here, but I'm going to go Mr. Foster. Come mm. on, that's facts. I mean. Teacher of the year. Teacher of the year. How Man many times? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I feel like that's an obvious one. My next up on that list is going to have to be Mrs. Hoffman. Why was that not brought up? Good one. Yes. Good one. Mrs. Hoffman. Mrs. Hoffman. Yep. Gosh, and her seven Mrs. foot two Hoffman. son. Colin. Did he play basketball? Oh, yeah. Did he actually? He's like six. What are you about 10, to do? But. <laughs> do you have a side comment to make? I have my one and only teacher. You're, you can't put one on that. Who's your one teacher? Mrs. Eikenberry. She's really got some vocals on her. She got some vocals <laughs> on her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, um, my third one would be Mr. Fish. He's just a legend. Doesn't need any explanation. And then probably Mrs. Kiefer. <sighs> wow. All right, uh, we're going to move on. Laura. I have three of them. Uh, they're kind of repeats, though. I have Mrs. Kiefer, Mr. Fish, and Mr. Dennis for obvious mm. reasons. Two of them teaching for a long time, and then just in memory of Mr. Dennis. A legend. A legend. Pure legend. I remember a lot of good memories with Mr. Dennis. All right. Kaylee Baker. We need. I just have one, and that's seven? Sherry Diller herself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Miss Diller. All oh, shout-outs to Miss Diller. Now, this is a short ad for the weekly news. Make sure to check them out after finishing the video. The next segment is Double Trouble. <laughs> All right, coming in at number five, Camp Frank, Cruz Curtis. Let's go to number four real quick. Number four, we have uh, Kaylee and Emma Martin. 
All right, now we can give a little reasoning with number three, two, and one. Number three, or we're gonna have to go uh, <laughs> Conker and uh, Lil Cotty, aka Colton Deermeyer. Um, I mean, they look at a brick and think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just absolute, just funny guys, I mean. <laughs> and uh, at number two, we have Ava and Blair. Do you have any experiences with Ava and Blair? And I feel like um, we sit there in class, you just hear him snickering all the time. It's got, <laughs> it just always got something to say. All right, coming to number one, I, this has, they have nothing on anybody else. Justin, <laughs> Justin and Bodie Hipsher. And then, then with Grandpa Neil being in there, just <laughs> <top of it. laughs> Okay, we're here with Hunter Reffitt for the hot minute. Let's go. What's your full name? Hunter Reffitt. What is your guilty pleasure song? I don't know. I have too much songs. I can't think of anything. If you could live in any time period, what would it be? 80s or 90s. What is your favorite day of the week and why? Friday. Because it's just a good day. Just always a good day, you know. Get to go home, stay up, relax, go home. Okay. Fill in the blank. Taylor Swift is... Uh, not a good singer. <laughs> She's she boring. What is your favorite junk food? Uh, Taco Bell. What was your last Halloween costume? Um, I don't know. It's probably been... Was I a Batman or a military man? It's been a long time since then. I have a long time. Do you like big dogs or small dogs and why? Uh, small dogs because they're cute and they're like little lap dogs and they're not vicious. That's it. We're here with two of the um, NWCC champs and we're going to ask a few questions regarding the championship game. So my first question is what did it take to beat the Tigers? Lots of extra practice, hard work, I don't know, really focusing on the game all week, wanting to win. Katie. Okay. And Bella sleeping on the bus on the way to every away game. Get back, back at that. <clears throat> All right, Lydon. All right, uh, Kay, do you have a question? Yeah. Okay. Um, what was your favorite thing about the game against the Tigers? Uh, definitely when Laney made those four free throws in a row. That was pretty cool. I'd have to say winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that wraps up our uh, interview with the NWCC champs. Go Bears. That wraps up this podcast. See you in two weeks. I don't love just anybody. Oh, just anybody. Oh, send me your body. Uh-huh.